Over the past several months, I've been working on what I'd like to call an infinite QBank. It is in beta testing, and here's what's unique about this. Tease math and med dosage, you can literally generate an infinite number of questions. Every one of them will be unique, detailed explanations for every single problem, and something to note, I created this myself. This is custom made. And I say that because I know what you're going to see on the math portion of the T's. I know those dose count problems you're going to be tested on in your dose count course. And even though I do have question banks for both med dosage, I have the workbooks, same thing for T's math, question bank already available and the workbook. It's just that those you have a certain number of problems. But with this infinite number of questions, let's try it out. And just for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you med dosage. And let's take a look at all of these objectives. GTT per minute, for example. Once you select your objective, look at these different topics. Sometimes you got to find GTTs per minute using milliliters per hour or a certain dose per minute or hour. Or maybe you have weight based problems or check this out. Let's look at with labels. Let's generate the questions. And just like that, 10 questions with labels. Not every label is going to be the same. Look at this tall vertical one here versus this horizontal one here. And something else unique, let's take this first label right here. 200 milligrams per 200 milliliters. If I go down here to question six, different number of milliliters. So these labels are dynamically generated as well. This is what literally gives you an infinite number of questions. But right now I'm only in GTTs per minute. If I jump back up here to objectives and let's go to milliliters per hour, multiple topics here. Let's look at this first one with hours or minutes. Generate our questions. No labels here. These are quicker ones. Let's take this one right here, for example. Now, if you don't know the conversion, you know I love dimensional analysis, but real quick here, 0.9 liters, that is actually 900 milliliters. And if you divide that by eight, we would be calculating the milliliter per hour rate round to the nearest whole number. That gives us 113. Let's check that. Instant feedback. And check this out. You even get the explanation in dimensional analysis conversions and all. Needless to say, if we go up here to T's, all 15 objectives for the T's, and you better believe it, any one of these objectives, multiple topics, generate your questions, and just like that. And yes, some of these may be more cut and dry than say one like that. But regardless, typing in our answer, check it, instant feedback, explanation. So where can you get this? Head over to app.bcraftmath.com, create a free account. The beta testing will be available to the public very soon. Stay tuned.